Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging here in the nether on the Citadel server. This is where we left actually. We were gathering some more stone and uh, checking up on some supplies and repairing some gear just at the end of the last stream. And before I head back to West Hill, Cosmic reached out and asked me if I could look at their flower farm. So we're gonna pop down quickly. And look at that. I think the nether side is working okay, but the the flower farm, flower meadow side is not. So we'll check to see what's up. Scotsman UK and Sweet Sandy, thanks ever so much for those subs. We've got Scotsman at 12 months. Can we get some love and chat for Scotsman a full 12 months? That's amazing. Thank you so, so much. And Sandy coming in at 38 months. Another month already after clicking that three-year celebration a couple of months ago. Right at the turn of the year, actually, I think. I have not turned my sound back up. So it's a rainy day in Dartmouth and a rainy day on the Citadel, too. Your GM girl, hello, welcome in. So this is the underground flower farm that we made for Cosmic. And it produces and sorts all of the flowers up here. And it's got another side. These are all... So some are there. Uh, and I feel like... I don't remember. Is this the, this is the on off switch, right? Cosmic bone meal goes in there. I wonder if bone meal's empty. That could be it too. Let's just see. Oh, there's bone meal in there. Getting distributed. Yeah, that's the on-off switch for this. I don't remember turning it on. Is it just a constant timer? That's an ether hop etho hopper clock, and that seems to be going. Is the other one going too? You'd think I would know this seeing as I, I designed it. Yeah, okay, so these are the hopper clocks are going perpetually. There's the water. So that flushes everything away. That's a long time for that water to be out. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much, Mind Trip. And um, someone earlier had said thank you for the gift sub that you sent them. Bye, GL has raided with a party of nine, and Alpha Mike raided with a party of eight. That's a great way to kick off the stream. Welcome in, everyone. Squeal it with 100 bits. And I'm not sure who kicked off the hype train, but somebody in that last session of support did so now there's a hype train if you want to use a tier one sub 100 bits or a prime sub you can get in on that hype train get a new emote from twitch blast jordan good to see you thanks for coming in so the timing on the on the uh water is okay i thought it would be a little bit faster but we do have access down here to see what's going on with maybe the bone meal not working there's the dispenser. It's got bone meal in it. There does not appear to have been any leaks anywhere. That is the on off switch. So I guess we'll go upstairs and turn it on and see what's going on. Oh, nighttime. We'll find a, a bed here first.
Not sure I remember how you made the farm, but I don't think you need to start it first before the water starts to go back and forth. It seemed to be a problem with the water. It was bone milling the ground and then washing away pretty much straight away. Hmm. Well, if there's water, it's not going to waste any bone meal. Oh, yeah, they seem to be out of sync somehow. Why is that clicking empty? That's weird. Hmm, 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 hmm. So something. Right. Okay. So something here. Right. So it's doing both at the same time, and what it should be doing is alternating. So all I need to do... This just needs to be in there, I think. So when that switches, I'll take it out. Oh, no. I'll wait for the water to get brought back in. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there seems to be something backwards. They should be doing it at alternative times, not at the same time. Could that be that I need to dispense, like, pulse the water once? I'm not sure how this would desync, though. Sorry, I know it's loud. I just need to hear it in order to know what's going on. I don't know why that's clicking. All right, let's turn off the shaders so that it'll be a little bit easier to see what's going on. Okay, so right now, when there's no water, there should be there should be bone mealing happening. So somehow, So once this starts up again, we should be able to replace 
the redstone. Alpha Mike and ByGL, once again, thank you ever so much for the raids. We're just in the middle of sorting out a redstone problem for Cosmic. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do the Spawn Chunks podcast, as well as the Citadel Cafe podcast. And of course, I stream here on Twitch four days a week. So that's working. It's just that the sink is off. Hopefully, that will change. I really didn't design this to be walked around. All right, let's turn this off. So yeah, it feels like the water has to be changed. I wonder, if, see if it can get out of sync without anybody tampering with it, then it should be able to get put back in sync without me having to go in there and replace all the different water. So what is triggering the water? It's, it's the piston bringing this up here and that's triggering the water. So really, that just has to be put in the other direction. So if, right, so that's the water. That's odd. Because when that's happening, What is that pulsing? Oh, that's pulsing pistons on this side. And then the other pistons are being pulsed over here. Right. Okay. So that's the piston thing. I built this. It's just been so long. So uh, I guess, yeah, I guess the thing to do is just, because it, it's it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah, I'm confused as to how that would even happen. So when it gets a constant pulse, it does the bone meal thing. And that's just a, that's a constant. It's either on or off. And then this clock is what determines the water going out. But yeah, I guess the water is just out of sync. If I go and replace the water, put it back in, I guess I can do that here. Oops.
missing a bucket somewhere. Okay. That is now off. And it should be on. And now that's not going. Why is that not going? Why is it only doing one pulse? Well, that didn't work at all. Yeah, there's something really messed up here. No worries, Squealit. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you later. So really, I think it's that this is on the wrong side. So I don't know why this is out of sync. In Ferris MC, thanks ever so much for the Prime sub, and thanks so much for participating in that hype train, everyone. I really appreciate it. Scottsman Yusuke says, I don't know how it's got out of sync, but there's a single redstone pulse to the dispensers to put them out of sync with the rest of the circuit, possibly a chunk upload or something at the wrong time. If only there was a video on how it was built. Oh, there's a video on how it was built, but like it was working. And this one's working okay, right? This one's just not on. And I think this redstone pulse is actually coming from... Well, that's weird. Oh, right, that, that's the reverse. So when this is off, it stops the pulse. Well, if I can use a redstone lever, maybe. I might be able to pulse the whole thing. Right, so let's try that.
Now it's not shifting the floor. So now the water's happening at the right time, but the floor and the bone meal is not shifting. So I broke something. Grandpa Crafter, hello, hello. Bear with me while I'm trying to sort this out. Did I screw this up? No, nope, that's fine. Yeah, these aren't pulsing at all. Oh, there's a missing redstone? like there's missing redstone. It was working before. Maybe when I broke in with the water I might have washed some stuff away. That could be it. working and then these should all be firing and they should filter out there we go so it was out of sync that was the problem I just want to make sure it works another cycle Looks like it's working. And then I'll go turn it off. So that should turn off the clicking, which is correct. And it should retract. Yep, that's been retracted. This has been extended, which locks this clock, which means that those um, these things will stop. And then this is also automatically taking overflow and putting it into bone meal. I think it's just the seeds. I can't remember what's going through here. Yeah, just extra stuff. So it kind of refuels itself. And then that bone meal gets split between that farm and this farm. So... That looks like it's fixed, Cosmic. Let me know if there's any other issues. Just to make sure that there is... I think there is more in here now than there was before. I'd have to go check back and check the VOD, but... We didn't leave it running for very long. No, no, I think we solved it. I think we get it. We get it sorted. We can head back to Westdale now. <laughs> it lives. 
I'm wondering if it could be just like if you happen to shut it off at the wrong time, then maybe that could do it. But it's the fact that the other side didn't break means that it's probably more of a fluke than a, a design problem. It could be chunk stuff, chunk loading, chunk borders, something that um, Blast Jordan and, and Scotsman UK mentioned. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. I'll check Westo when I get back. Uh, the font that I used for the Citadel uh, title, it's the same as I used for the Citadel Cafe podcast. I believe it's called Copacetic. Pretty sure it's a free Google font. It's... um. It's got a fun like art deco vibe to it. I you have to mess around with capitals and lowercase for it to look right, but it's fun. A good good fun. So this will be fun coming into West Hill, being able to look at the mountain work that we've been doing over the last couple streams to see how effective it is now coming in. I don't think we've taken a trip to leave West Hill and come back since we started working on the mountain. So this will be a fun visual on what the mountain now looks like. And if there's any, specifically this north face, we might have to tweak a little bit. Uh, I've also increased the render distance uh, over the last six months on the server, so we should be able to see the mountain a lot sooner than we used to when we came into the West Hill Valley this way. So it should come into view just as we cross the bridge here. Yeah, there it is there. And you know what? That brown on the back there doesn't really cause too much of an issue. It makes sense because of all the trees back there. That looks good. Talara, hello. Good to see you. Well, it's not fine. It's fine in Minecraft, but it's rainy here in Dartmouth, which is fine. I don't, I was just joking with someone the other day. I really don't mind when it's raining and I have to stream because it, I, the eighties kid in me does not feel like I'm missing anything at all on like a rainy March day in Nova Scotia when it's four degrees outside. I'm not, I'm not missing a beat. I don't even want to run errands. Like I don't even want to go outside of the apartment. I like the little snowy dirt cap that we left. And yeah, that looks that actually looks pretty natural. I'm not too worried about that. I like the sheer face that we've got going on there. Oh, thanks Cosmic. Yeah, it really uh the last the last couple streams I think honing in the approach coming into West Hill. Actually, let's go over the long way around. Because I feel like the reveal coming around this road at the top of the curve is really cool. So when you go up to the next level in the town, there's the big mountain. Yeah, that looks really cool. And you can see immediately like how much nicer it's going to look when we get rid of this. I really feel like I'm not going to replace this with stone. I think some of this is going to get cut off. Certainly, at least from here, over to the left, we're just going to remove. And then we've got a little bit of work to do up there, it looks like. The rest of it you can't quite see, but we've got to drop some stuff off below here. Towers really stand out now. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. So I'm coming back with a lot of stone. I believe we're full up on this one. And then this just needs to get dumped back into the system. That 
it's now empty. Good stuff. And I'm pretty good. I'm pretty sure I can just resume where I left off. Yeah, we definitely have some work to do up around there. We'll have to go all the way around the corner on that. Kiwi be good. Good to see you. Yeah, that's really cool looking. It almost looks like something that people do when they want to make their own mountains, you know, the, the custom mountains, but just replacing the texture on some things can have a real solid effect. I think it might be worth moving all of our stuff. Uh, I feel like we could maybe move all this south. It'd be a little bit easier. Oh, I see a gift. Help me, Joel Duggan. You're my only hope. Well, I think the flower farm is what what was needed to be fixed. Please help Cosmic out and take a look at their flower farm. Oh, flower farm when you can. That goes right outside the box. They should really allow you to have two lines there. For it is sadly possibly broken. Free shulker boxes in return. <laughs> well, hey, I will take the free shulker boxes. Thanks very much. Even though they're going to burn my inventory until I can have them not be pink. Uh, I guess what I can do... I can't put shulkers in shulkers. Mm. I'm going to have to put these back down again. Oh, I'm one inventory space shy. Oh, wait a minute. I can put those away there, and that should mean I can pick up everything. Aha, victory's mine. The mighty Elkhorn is here, hello. So the section that we're gonna be working on is over here now, so I thought maybe it'd be good to set up our sh our little shulker island somewhere else. Yeah, we're not even here, like we're here in south, so I feel like we can just maybe set out outside on the road. Or maybe we'll just set up here where it's a little bit wider. Yeah, we'll just do it here. I'll keep the bed and we'll need these back. And all the pink shulkers can go over here, I guess. Actually, I'll just put those back inside. Bam Bam MC, good to see you. Hope you're having a good weekend. We're just moving our little shulker island a little bit farther south. Yeah, it provides a really nice backdrop. I like it.
grass, coarse dirt, moss. And deep slate. Don't know why I had the wood box out, but then we'll go back. That was potions. It's called joling, the way that I lay out my shulker boxes. Was it Grandpa Crafter? Or was it you, Cosmic, that was coining that as what they're calling noling now on the uh, on the Lego streams? All right, so I noticed that that line that I wanted to change when I was standing over here. So yeah, I want to get rid of at least that peak down. So let's just start there. I was thinking it would be neat if I could put like a structure up here because I've always felt that this is a little bit weird. It's almost like if somebody ever came over the mountain, they would have complete access to the town. So I was wondering if it would be cool to put like some sort of secret passage or some sort of access tunnel from this tower into the mountain that would then get access to like a really old looking tower that we could put here. I feel like that could be pretty cool. So let's let's take out at least some of this this dirt. Yeah. So it's this peak. So from about here to the south, I want to remove. The good news about this is that we're not going to need a beacon because I don't plan on really taking out any stone. I just want to remove the really high dirt peaks here. probably end up reshaping some of this. We'll just see what the Minecraft generation has given us as far as the stone goes. That took no time at all. Now, did I want to get rid of this too, or did I want this to be converted to stone? That's a hard question. I have to, have to back up and check that again.
All right, let's back up and see what that that did. I've got a funny feeling we're going to replace some of this dirt here too. So the whole idea is that I wanted the the tower to have a silhouette. So now that tower peak is going to stick out from that. So I think we will end up taking down that stone bit there. We'll take a look from a couple different angles. Probably have to circle around here. And can't really see it from here. Too much tree line in the way. Welcome back from vacation, Yanni. Good to see you. So really that's the only angle that I'm I have to worry about. So I just have to take down that stone bit. And that's not going to be too hard. We'll just take this off and then slope it down. From here, we could just make something look a little bit more natural. And maybe we'll leave this part, carve it down a little bit. And then here is where I would want to change the angle a little bit. Trying not to get too carried away with this because I feel like if we do end up building something up in here, a lot of this is going to end up changing. And you won't be able to see any of this little pit from down below anyway. That looks a little bit more natural. And now we have to decide what I'm going to do with that. And I think that is just something I'm going to replace with stone. So we'll choose, I guess, a peak here. And then we'll just start replacing all of this. Again, I don't want to reinvent the wheel. We, we've been pretty, pretty content with what Minecraft has given us for this mountain. So rather than creating a ton of work for myself, we'll just 
remove the dirt, replace it a little bit with stone as we go. Smooth it a little bit. Try to take some inspiration from the shape that Minecraft has given us. Best we can. Whoops. And of course, make sure it all has snow. Roof pig clashes with everything else. Is, is the roof pig still over there? There's a little pen over here somewhere for animals. I can't remember where I put it, but it's over in the woods somewhere. Oops. All right, so that's the top of that sort of turned into stone. We'll back up and see what that looks like. Make sure that it's all right. Yeah, I think once we remove all of this dirt, then it'll be really clear because then you're not going to have that brown competing. I think it'll look all right. I don't think you can see much of this from down here. Oh, I guess you can if you're over this way. So again, removing that dirt and we'll get rid of this dirt too. I think we'll have a positive effect. I need to chop this down a little bit more too. Trying to figure out where the snow line ends. I guess it was around, around here.
Oh, I didn't bring any extra snow with me. And we're out of stone too. Thanks for the heads up, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Dirt is full again. Let's, I guess I can probably put this away. Do the same thing with that too. Rather than using one of those precious shulkers, we'll just dump it in the, in the keep, or not in the keep, in the crypt. It's what I built it for, all the overflow storage that we can't fit inside. leave a couple in here just in case. Get a lot of stuff when you start removing mountains. That's for sure. So for folks that are new, especially coming in with those raids earlier, again, what a great way to start off a stream. I take a break about once an hour. It is that time now, so I'm going to pop into a little AFK spot and uh, refresh my coffee. You should too. Grab a drink, grab a snack, maybe even grab a friend and let them know that we're streaming. I will be back in about five or six minutes.
All right, now that we've got that inventory sorted, take another look from over here, see how the progress is going. Yeah, so it's got this nice silhouette now that sticks out, which I like. So really, it's just going to be a matter of taking out the uh, the remaining dirt. So I'll need probably more snow layers. I'll just make all of them. And I can put these back. Bring the extra bed, which I have, and is that all I need? I think that's all I need. Might have to get some more carrots. So I think I think I'll start with this part here to really make sure we've got the front face done. We'll focus on this side here. And this is gonna go quick because there's no snow. Except for the top top layers. Oh, missed. Smile time with Jack. Welcome in. We are reshaping a mountain. Because we didn't like it. And we have the power to change it, so we're doing it. Guess we'll stick to it. This is going to require some work here, I think, to make look good. So we'll have to keep in mind the kind of changes that we want to make here. Oops, wrong block. Phase one, complete a clean canvas. No, phase phase one and done is uh, just remove the dirt. We uh, will have a few little bits of tweaking to do, but mostly because this is not meant to be the main build, this is just me kind of fixing the backdrop. Uh, I've decided to 
keep this pretty minimal. I know I mentioned this last time, but I really do really feel like we should be able to make something else with dirt. I guess, I guess we can make mud now. If people wanted to make mud manually, then if you had excess dirt and you wanted more mud, then mangrove swamps are a pain to harvest stuff from. So I guess we can use dirt to create mud. I don't know if I'm going to need a lot of mud in my new sci-fi zone, but we'll see. Next time I need mud, maybe I'll see if I can make like a quick redstone mud machine or something. So it's about here where I guess the snow sort of stops. So I'll try to stay true to that, that change in the natural generation. I always find that when I don't need dirt, I have so much. And when I do need it, I have none. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Like, I think it's just because I'm a pack rat. I just seem to have everything all the time. This is going to go super fast without the snow. I sort of understand now why people make their own custom mountains. It's uh it's pretty cathartic. You you seem to you get a really large accomplishment in a modest amount of time compared to what it takes to make a really large decorative build it feels a little monotonous at times like some of the placement and some of the you know you're not getting a lot of block variety so that's a thing i think i'll leave that dirt and grass for now
not too worried about this right now because we will potentially have to come back here if I decide to do that little tower, that tower build. Whoops. Bam Bam MC gifting a tier one sub to the community. And that went out to Joseph X. Thanks so much, Bam Bam. That's really generous of you. Joseph X, if you want to connect your Discord and your Twitch, you can join us in the Joel Duggan Discord now. And you'll have access for the full month, which is the length of the subscription. Missed a spot. Oh, missed another spot. Have to see what's up now. So the gray still blends together a little bit down here but the roof definitely stands out a lot nicer. Quite enjoy that. Rutani, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's scoot back here and see what it looks like. Where's the zombie? I hear you. Where are you hiding? Huh. Weird. There must be a hole somewhere. So that's a little bit of a weird shape. And there's a lot of gray there. So I kind of wonder if we did something here similar to this, if we created some sort of like little bridge into there, if it would help with that a bit. But I didn't miss any spots. That's good. I think we'll maybe remove these. And I'll probably come back up here and replace these because we had, um, I don't think we had moss when I first did this. But yeah, I remember the, the top part there, a little bit of a funny shape.
So I think what we'll do is just knock this back a bit. That should probably be a little bit better. Oh, it's more the end. Okay. We'll take care of that too. Maybe make this a little bit sharper. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. So then the other thing we have to worry about is all the dirt behind everything. I don't mind the shapes there, so I might actually just replace some of that with stone rather than just remove it entirely. And then we'll just continue this right down. Yeah, the sun setting on this, uh, behind this mountain really is cool. I know at this point you probably can't see what's happening from below, but I think just because I'm up here, if I just do it all now, then it's just one last thing that I have to take care of later, should I need to. And it's really not taking terribly long.
Oh, we're almost there. I guess this should have snow on it. It seems to be kind of patchy up here. I'm not sure why. I guess maybe there's like a chance of snow at a certain Y level. Sometimes doing stuff like this brings me back to like early, early days in Minecraft when you have a new world and you're just, you've only got so many things to work with, so many different textures. So right around here is where I think that tower would probably go if I ever got to that point. We kind of nestle it in the natural peaks here. That would be kind of fun. Okay. Early days of Minecraft with netherite tools. Yeah, I guess it would be going a lot slower in the early days of Minecraft if that was the case. I don't miss early days. There are some nostalgic little bits here and there, but I certainly don't miss the gameplay. I do enjoy the simplicity of it sometimes. There's less to consider when you've not spent all this time in a world. Just about gets all of it, I think. One last little bit of grass. And then we've just got this little side up here. I think we're good.
we'll have to take a look from the southern approach. I'm not sure what if how much of this mountain you can see. Uh, we'll want to take at least a little bit of that view into consideration. Especially with the increased render distance. Should be everything. Looks like I got most of it, except for up there. I'm sure we can still see that. I'm just gonna double check around. Yeah, I know we have to change that. I think all of this needs some snow. And where to snow? Okay then. All right. Well, we need to go a bit more of that. <clears throat> playing without a light makes me feel like I'm playing with early days of Minecraft. This cosmic, yeah, I can see that too. Almost out of stone. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, out of it in the shulker box, we obviously have more. Mick Scrugan, good to see you. There's beds in here. That's a closet. Here we go. All right, how's our view doing now? Yep, just that little, little bit of dirt on the side there. That does feel a little bit strange. I think I might just crop that three blocks off. We should be good. And I would say some of this needs some snow. Alright, so then it's just this dirt here, I think, that I was seeing. And some of that.
Oops. So I think it's just this stuff here. And then of course this top part, right? Just can't quite reach. Almost there. The hard part is when you realize that you can see something like this from multiple different angles. So you, you work on it from one angle and you realize, man, there's quite a lot of work left from these other angles. Okay, I think that one part might still be visible, so we'll take that, a look at that. Oh, come on. That's why you just look at things from one angle, says Cosmic. Yeah, it does make your life a lot simpler. It does make your life a lot simpler. All right, let's go back up here from the top down. This is a two layer of dirt that we will keep. 
probably to about here. And this is going to fade off as it gets a little bit lower. Two layers there. This has to be stone again. It's the only downside about increasing the render distance is that it, you end up seeing a lot more mistakes and things that you want to fix than you previously had. Somewhere I put in an extra layer. Yeah, West Hill does have a lot of crazy forest areas around it. Like this whole taiga biome south is massive. Like that's just a huge taiga. There's actually a, I think it's a, a pillager outpost over there. And then this is, I think, I can't remember if that's a tundra. Like it's, it's an icy biome. I don't think it's an ice spikes. There is an ice spikes up here somewhere. And then there's also... This is a this is a dark oak forest, but there's a much bigger one somewhere. This is a huge swamp. And then another one over here. There are some really fun meadow biomes though, like you've got nice big wide open space here. There's another really cool one there. And then there's another, this is the other location where you teleport to. I don't know why we chose that area. Hey, Chris, hello, good to see you. We're just about done with the mountain. I'm just taking out the last little bits of stone at the top, or dirt at the top, I guess I should say. Right, so then this needs to be changed. And this can get changed.
think this being snow is okay. Makes sense. And then down here, I think I'll stop this around here. Jeep Scalper, hello, hello. Always good to see you around. And we have just two more layers to go. How's Canada doing? <laughs> In the grand scheme, I guess, okay. Depends on who you ask. A loaded question right now. I think that gets rid of all the dirt from down here. Or which part of the country you're in. Yep, that would also matter. That would also matter. So we were working up there. And I'd say that looks pretty good. Missed a couple spots. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably okay. So the real question now is what does this look like when you approach from the south? Or I guess the west. There's no road out this far. I've not gotten this deep. We've just got some torches. And survey says you really can't see much. Yeah, you're not going to be looking over your shoulder.
Yep. A little bit more dirt to remove. I missed a spot right there. Yep, it's all for the name of the views from the build. Right, so this this needs to get stripped down. Some of this is okay. And I'll worry about that. This is a separate, separate thing entirely. <laughs> flowers. Thanks for fixing the flower farm. The flowers are in your debt. <laughs> well, glad it works. Glad it works. Looking good. You only really see little glimpses of it over this way. Cool. Hey, as long as the flower farm is flower farming cosmic, then that's what matters. I don't like it when redstone contraptions break for no good reason. Like it's one thing if if I make a mistake and they screw up, but it's another thing if they just break. And I I find that really frustrating. Cause then it's nothing that you or I or anybody has done. It's just like a game glitch. Dirt there, and I want to get rid of. Yep, I think that looks pretty good. The tree feels a little bit lonesome. I might want to do maybe add another tree up there. Two there might look better than one. No, I don't have any interest in playing Bedrock outside of, you know, that one time where we had ray tracing. I thought that was cool, but I didn't have access to it at the time, so... Because my, my video card wouldn't be able to do it. That tree is in a weird spot. But I'll leave it for now. Let it render in. Well, that looks a lot better. Still could use a little bit of a change in the shape there, but overall, I really like this is really, this sheer face is very imposing. And then I like this detail in here as it shifts. better contrast here too the bell tower really stands out when you start to get up close to it yeah that's
that's fun. Yeah, it definitely has an imposing vibe, doesn't it? Oh, let's go into the here again. Yeah, that's cool. All right, that's a that was a really good decision. It's a lot of work, but worth it, I think. I've been near sheer cliffs like this in person when I've been hiking in Utah. And granted, they're not gray. They're more like a, a sandstone color. But it's just as imposing, which is cool. That's a good vibe. I'm glad I, glad I went and did that. Especially because if you've been in some place like this in real life and you've managed to achieve that same sort of imposing, overwhelming feel in Minecraft, then I think you've done a, a decent job. So the reason why I was I'm humming and hawing about what I want to do here is because I feel like this mountain from the other side sort of gives like a security breach. Like it's it's almost like someone could climb up here and squeeze through and get access to the town. So that's why I was thinking about doing a different tower or something up there. Which wouldn't take long to build because I would build it in the same style that exists. Uh, I don't even think it would have a roof on it. I think it would be a tower similar to this one, right? Like just a square, uh, old-looking tower. I think that could be really cool. Yeah, I love the way that the shadow plays across that. That's really that's really fun. And even coming in through here, like removing all that dirt, there's no dirt competing with the roof line. There's no dirt competing with this greenery. So like this feels very distinct as does, as does this. And so when we go to decorate the river, which is done in some parts, but not the whole thing, that'll be the next step is like making some detail changes to some key points, include, including this one. We'll change this up a little bit. Um, and then on the other side too, we'll have to make some work, but that's, that's part of like the, the, the spruce river south development and right now we're just doing the cliffs so some of this is going to need to be changed i think i'm going to strip this out but i'll consider that part of the south bit here because this is not nearly as important there's just this one little look off here so i'm not terribly worried about it i think that i just i want to make sure that this looks good and i want to make sure that this section here feels like the rest of the mountain oh i need to fix that a little bit right now before i forget Yeah, so this this stuff here, I think, is going to have to go. We'll chop this away. And then probably to about there. We'll get rid of all this dirt. But I'll consider that part of like the southern cliffs. Very cool. So just a few things to fix about that. When we do do the West Road, we'll probably move a lot of this stuff around and see how that looks. Very happy with that indeed. So you can sort of see like right in this little divot right there, if that's where there was a base of a tower, that could be really interesting. And if we look at it from over here, I don't think it would compete. No, so this would have its own peak and then that little divot is like right here. So the tower would be like right in that space there. And it would probably look like its own thing. I don't think it would look like the town. I would probably make it a deep slate, deep slate in stone to make it look older. Sort of like um, what we've got at the base of the keep here. So rather than having it be just stone, I would probably go with a base like this to make it look a lot older. So deep slate into tough into cobble, that kind of a thing. 
And I think that would help it stand out because from here, yeah, it would be right in that space right there. And I think it help might help balance out that lone tree. That could be cool too. I'm trying to think if there's any spot where you might see it from. It wouldn't show up here. You'd see it here, probably. Right there, maybe. I'll go up there with some scaffolding and do a test as to how big it's going to be and what we could do. You'd certainly see it here. And it would definitely show up right there. Cool. Well, folks, that's where I'm going to wrap it up. I think that's an excellent place to uh, to finish up with the West Hill Cliffs. We can kind of consider the other things that need to change up there as part of either that tower build or what's going to happen with uh, the south part of the river. So the next time I stream from here, I'll be tackling the river decoration itself. We'll be handling things like that little vegetation outcrop, any place where there's a little look off, like there's a little platform over there. There's a, a dock down there. I want to make sure that the bottom of this cliff has got like a little bit of decoration where it needs to. Um, but yeah, this has really gone well because you can see the difference now where there's no brown along the mountain. And so the browns of the roofs of these towers and this mansion, they stand out. They really, really work. So I am on board with that. Uh, we are going to be recording a new episode of the Spawn Chunks tomorrow, and we'll be tackling all the news that's coming out of Bedrock and Java Edition, some major changes to the game. So don't miss this week. Uh, I still have to even wrap my head around it. That's going to be at thespawnchunks.com. It normally publishes every Wednesday, available wherever you find your favorite podcasts. You can also get the Citadel Cafe, and I'm going to be editing and posting a new one of those out soon too. Johnny and I took the time to talk about the uh, Avatar The Last Airbender series on Netflix. So I'll have that out as soon as possible. You can, of course, subscribe on patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's one of the best ways to support your favorite creators, including me. You get access to the Discord. It is a wonderful, consistent way to keep your favorite streamers streaming. So please consider that if you've had some fun here and you get some value out of what I do. You can follow on social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And of course, a big thank you to anybody that used their Prime sub, their Tier 1 sub, gifted a sub, used any kind of bits today. I really, really appreciate it. Y'all are awesome. Thank you again to ByGL and Alpha Mike for the raids to kick off the stream. That was really fun. And we'll see you all on the next stream day, which is Thursday back in Minecraft. Bye for now. Have a good afternoon.